I'm Helga from Helga's Pennsylvania Cooking. Helga's Happy Holidays are still here. New Year's is coming. So today we're going to make something a little fun for the adult New Year's gatherings. Um, we don't do anything big. We get together with Mike's family and um, have some good food and play some LCR and just have some fun. And most of us don't make it to the ball drops. <laughs> but this is fun to take for the adult gatherings. And uh, so today we're making boozy bears. Actually, they're, they're alcoholic gummies and they're a take off of jello shots. Um, they're just a little bit more gummier than jello um, because you just do them a little bit differently. So I'm doing a couple today. I'm doing a cherry martini, which is done with vodka, and I'm doing a lime mojito, which is done with rum. Um, but you can also do other flavors of gelatin and also use other liquors like tequila. You can do the same recipe, non-alcoholic, and make regular gummy bears instead of the, because it's three quarters of a cup of boiling water, um, the gelatin, and a quarter cup of whatever alcohol you're using. However, if you want the non-alcoholic version, instead of the quarter cup of alcohol, just use a quarter cup of cold water. That's it. Easy peasy, and they come out cute, and they're yummy, especially for New Year's. So let's get to it. So what goes into the boozy bears? So you can make several different kinds of boozy bears. They can be rum based, vodka based, tequila based. So um, the one kind I'm doing like a uh, wild cherry martini and that's going to have um, cherry gelatin and uh, vodka and then we're going to use boiling water and then the other one is um, like a lime mojito so I'm using lime gelatin and rum and water, hot boiling water and I'll show you how we're going to put this together. This is so simple guys and so easy and it's, it's fun. It's a lot of fun and you can make non-alcoholic ones too. Kettle's ready. So this is so simple. And basically it's going to be the two minute rule. <clears throat> We're going to make the uh, cherry martini ones first. So I'm just going to add my packet of jello. I'm going to add my packet of jello. Then I'm going to add my three quarter cup of boiling water. And then we are going to stir this for two minutes. Um, get it all dissolved. So it's been two minutes. This is all dissolved. You don't see any grains. <clears throat> and then all we're going to do is add is the uh, quarter cup of alcohol, in this case vodka. Another two minutes to stir. And if this gets a little too thick, you can always put it in the microwave for a few seconds um, after the two minutes, but usually you don't need to. If you're making the non-alcoholic version of these, instead of the quarter cup of alcohol, just use a quarter cup of cold water. So three quarter cup of hot water with a gelatin, get it dissolved, and then you add a quarter cup of cold water so and you can make these for your <clears throat> for your kids, for you, for anybody, and they're really yummy and that's the non-alcoholic version. But hey, it's New Year's and this is Helga's Happy Holidays and so you know, boozy, boozy bears it is. So our other two minutes of stirring is up and we are set to go. And it's not thick at all. <clears throat> so. Then comes the fun of filling the molds. Aren't they cute? And we just use the eyedropper. And 
and I just tap the pan down when you do this make sure you get all the bubbles out and while a lot of places tell you to coat the trays the silicone trays with cooking spray I do not I think it makes them feel slimy and not good and I've not had any problem with them coming out um, without it so I'm not using it you can do as you wish though it's up to you I just don't like it and I'm just gonna continue filling the tray like this and uh, then it'll be going into the fridge to chill and set the tray is full and I'm gonna put it in the fridge for about half an hour to chill and set um, these are gonna go great just to eat in a in a crystal dish or you can put them on uh, cocktail picks in your favorite cocktails um, they're also good stuck with a cocktail pick in um, like melon balls and stuff a lot of strawberries all that kind of stuff <clears throat> but I'm gonna put these in to set my first batch is out <clears throat> as you can see I did some other shapes with uh, chocolate molds that I had also silicone molds and these are cute because they actually come out like looking like little wreaths so you do them in these different colors like the green and the red and stuff it's perfect for the holidays and there's the bear mold these are really little and I would probably get the next size up just so they weren't aggravating but they are cute I don't know if you can see that or not and as little as they are trust me when I tell you they still pack a pretty good little punch You gotta make sure you turn the mold completely inside out too so that they come out okay something fun something easy doesn't take a lot of time longest amount of time it takes is for them to set up they take a little longer uh, with the booze in them than without so remember that when you're letting them set up the uh, plain ones made with water won't take as long Look how cute they are. Little bears. And keep these refrigerated until you're ready to serve them. And we're ready for round two. These are going to be the lime mojito uh, bears. Gummies. Two minutes. Stir this until salt dissolved. Mm. Oh my god, that smells so good. I love lime. Two minutes. Two minutes has elapsed. <clears throat> now we add our rum. And we stir it for another two minutes. It's been another two minutes. And time to fill our mold. Do you like the bigger molds better? They're just easier to work with. But the bears are really cute. And you can do so many themes. You can do flags for like 4th of July. Do like blueberry gelatin with the uh, vodka. These are just nicer to deal with. And they're pretty. They, like I said, this is uh, this is a Pampered Chef chocolate mold, but it works really good for this. And I like it because it looks like wreaths. And they're ready to go in and chill and set. So since we're still in Helga's Happy Holidays and it's not yet New Year's, um, I got some more Christmas cards uh, with some more recipes. 
for those that haven't been following along, um, I suggested this year that people send me Christmas cards with their favorite recipe and then I would mail one back to them with one of my recipes. And I don't think I've sent any recipes to anyone that has actually appeared in a video. So that's all new. So let's get through the uh, ones that have come in at least as of today. <clears throat> um, this is from a fellow uh, YouTuber who's up in Newfoundland and uh, he makes the most gorgeous cards. I mean, they're little works of art. They're just stunning. So this is from my buddy, Bluefin. Um, he has a really nice outdoors channel, Mustang774. And I'll include the uh, link to his channel in the description below. Isn't that gorgeous? These are works of art every year. Um, much thanks to Bluefin and his wife. We appreciate it so much. Uh, the next one comes from... Florida, and this this is oh, this is really really awesome. This is from Kim and Jonathan, and uh, this is such a cool idea. Look at this! Look at this card. It's got an ornament. This is so awesome. I actually have an ornament from one of my subscribers for my tree. You guys all know how I feel about my ornaments, so isn't that awesome? Um, and she sent a recipe for Crackmas crackers. Butter, ranch dressing, pepper flakes, garlic powder, oyster crackers, parmesan. Well, you know this is going to be good. Perfect in time too for uh, snacking at the holidays. So thank you, Kim and John. And let's see. Um, I got a beautiful card from Tamson. Thank you, Tamson. Uh, Tamson's been a, quite a long time subscriber, so I'm always happy to hear from her. And thank you for the, uh, the beautiful card and the note. Isn't that pretty? That's pretty. And let's see. The next one is from Beth in Indiana. This is cute too. She has, you all know how I like my kitty cats. And this is for, <laughs> I got I gotta laugh how she said this. So her parents were from originally from uh, central Pennsylvania and she still has family in, in Bucks County. Um, and she grew, likes seeing the channel for the food that she grew up with. She says this recipe doesn't have a name or even exact measurements, but it's a favorite. And it's a sausage thing, but it's got smoked sausage, onion, peeled apples, and potatoes. And I think that's probably a, uh, a play on uh, pork and snap. So I'll be trying that. I think it's going to be awesome. How can it not be awesome? It's got sausage and apples and potatoes. I mean, come on. This one also pretty cool. I love the courier knives and it looks so much like a Morgan horse. Even more like a Morgan horse. And this is actually from um, my cousin B and she sent chili relinos casserole. Oh yeah. And it's simple. Chili peppers, sharp cheddar cheese, um, sharp oh Monterey Jack, milk, flour, salt, eggs. Oh God, this is gonna be so good. This will make a Dutch oven recipe. I'll be doing that when the weather warms up here, out over the wood fire. This year we're gonna do a lot more of that. No more moving. <laughs> and then this one comes from North Carolina very cute from Julie and she sent her recipe for chili. Chili is always good. Cold weather, chili rocks. So as of today those are the rest of the cards and recipes I've gotten in and uh, 
let's get to finishing up these boozy bears. They're done. So my little boozy bears and wassailing wreaths look like this. Aren't they cute? I think I got them. Yeah. Okay. Aren't they cute? And uh, so between all of this is what half a cup of alcohol and all of these. And uh, you, you can taste it, but it's they're just like better versions of jello shots. They're that good. So, you know, I gotta try them. You know, see if they're any good to take. Mmm. Cherry martini. Excellent. Hmm. Let's try it. Green gummy. This is the lime mojito. Mm -mm -mm. They will help your New Year's be merry and bright. So, boozy bears, wassailing wreaths, whatever you want to make. These are so easy, as you can see. Um, so, it's the gelatin, hot water, hot boiling water, and a quarter cup of alcohol, or just substitute cold water to make plain ones. These are so easy, you can make these up for the kids and stuff. Um, plain ones, that is. Unless your kids are above 21 and legal drinking age. Um, then you can, they can have the good ones. But anyhow, very easy, simple to do, something fun for New Year's. I'm taking these out for our family on New Year's Eve. And uh, that being said, that, and I think I might have a ham salad for you here also today. You're going to get two this week because uh, it's going to be probably another week or more till I get back in the kitchen. I got to work. So happy new year. Many blessings to you. I'll be having my pork sauerkraut, fluffy dumplings, and mashed potatoes on New Year's Day, the PA Dutch way. And uh, happy new year and many blessings to you in the coming new year.